Hi everyone, Bridget here. To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't really done a tutorial video before, but at the same time, uh, this video isn't scripted and I just decided to turn on the camera and start recording when I stumbled across a feature on the Adobe Lightroom that I have never seen before. And for those who have similar workflow or the process as I do when uploading landscape photos on Instagram to achieve this four by three white border frame within the landscape photo, then this video is for you. And I hope you find it useful and informative. Now I'm gonna to switch to my Sony camera to show you where to find this option and how to export it. On your iPad or iPhone, open up Lightroom. Select the photo you want to export. Tap share on the top right corner and you will see an option called add border and share. If you tap on it in here, you can select different background, which is great. And you can also change the thickness. I don't think this thickness is in like pixel unit. Uh, five looks pretty great. And you can also change the border size on the bottom. Uh, even, one by one, you also have TikTok option, but you don't have an option to use custom. But I guess majority of these pre-made uh, option or presets are good enough. And when you're done, just tap export or share and then save image. And when you open up your photos, it should be there. There it is. Oh, look at that. So in the past, or I guess until this afternoon, I've been using Adobe InDesign and Photoshop. You can use third-party apps like Canva or Unfold. I'm sure there are many other apps out there, but since I already have access and I'm paying for Adobe apps, it just made sense for me to stick with these two apps. Coming back to the feature I stumbled across, I noticed that this specific feature slash uh, export option is only available on the Adobe Lightroom, not on the Lightroom Classic. And another things to note, this Export option is only available on the iOS and the iPadOS, but not available on the macOS. If I had to take a guess, um, exporting images in a frame or with the border, we would normally do that to upload those images up on Instagram or other social media channels. So maybe that's why we, it's only available on the iPadOS and iOS. But I think it would have been nice to have that cohesive platform experience so that it's available across macOS, iPadOS, and iOS. But not a deal breaker. I hope you found it useful and helpful, um, especially for those who have similar processes or workflow of having multiple apps just to export a few photos in, in a frame or with the white border, and who prefers to use a single app to do everything. First tutorial video, no scripting, no planning whatsoever. Uh, let me know what you think, or if there are any other tutorial videos you'd like to see, uh, please leave it in the comments. And if you have any feedback, I really appreciate if you can share that so I can make better videos uh, in the future. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hi everyone, Ho Jae Hee. In the white. Ha. 